Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at another Frederick Holderin uh, poem. Um, these were probably written around, I think, the sixteen, uh, the sixteen hundreds, I believe, or maybe the seventeen hundreds. Um, so this one is really short, and it's called Socrates and Alcibiades. Um, Alcibiades was a military leader, so uh, apparently, according to Holderin, um, Socrates wrote of messiah and wrote of messianic prophecy and holderin is um in disagreement with how he wrote of him i've never read socrates so i don't know so he writes holy socrates why always with deference do you treat this young man don't you know greater things why so lovingly rapidly as on gods do you gaze on him so holderin is saying that <laughs> Um, he writes of Messiah through a more superior lens of an inferior, you know, uh, pagan lens. But what's really interesting about this poem is the, la is the last verse here, because this gives us a glimpse into um, future prophecy and what to expect. And it's a complete uh, polar opposite of the times we're living in. Of course, that's how God is. Who the deepest has thought loves what is most alive. Wide experience may well turn to what's best in youth. And the wise in the end will often bow to the beautiful. Now, why is that the future for God's saints? Because we're living in the times where evil is reigning. Um, evil is, you know ruling over righteousness like you're supposed to um live up to the standards of evil like especially sexual immorality and you know how you know just turn on youtube we know how the satanists and the heathen are they just they boast in inferior things um so it's really cool that um that's going to change when we go back in time and reinvent things um that's going to change in the future um love beauty Power, soundness, um, is going to be at horde, or not at horde, but um, be bowed down to. So it's really cool. So I just wanted to share that, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a good night.